Hello everyone and welcome back to the 143rd episode of the Top 5 Weekly. Now for those of you that are new here, this is a series where I take a look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam, analyze each one of the creations, discover their features and test them out here in Stormworks. But before we get started, if you are enjoying my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe button and while you're watching, let me know your thoughts of the creations in the comments below. So that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this week's episode. And starting this week's episode off with the first creation, we have the Hafetus class gold dredger. Now this is meant to be a gold dredging ship and apparently it also has a simulated gold dredging and collection system. So it's not just there for looks, you can apparently actually do it and it simulates it, um, which is pretty cool. Along with that, we've got some lifeboats on there, there's a full detailed interior, so let's go and spawn it and see how it works. And spawning in the first creation of the episode, this is really interesting design to it. As you can see here in the front, it looks like we've got the conveyor belt system that actually brings up the dirt or the gold into the creation itself. Uh, looks like we've got a control room of sort just over there. Uh, along with that, we've got some anchor points going around it and maybe a little area to get in. Uh, we've got lifeboats on the side too, some ladders to go up on the sides. And then we've got a rear part. So maybe that's where all the excess dirt would come out at the back. Okay, so we'll just move along and we'll pick up dirt and then drop it out here at the back. Okay, interesting design to this. All right, let's go and get inside. So we're going to jump down here. Go through the store. Press E. Okay, so now we're inside. I can close this off. Looks like we've got some medical equipment all around us. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of things going on inside here, including the boiler system, which I'm going to try and get lit straight away. Because uh, that will take a few minutes to get going. Looks like we've got like a generator system here. So a condenser. Nice. I like how this is all laid out. It's not, you know, it's not in hugely amount of detail, but I think it's laid out perfectly. That really does look good. Uh, what else do we have? So it looks like we've got something here, and then what I'm guessing would be a belt system. And then it goes out the back there. Okay, so we'll check that out in a few minutes. Let's go over here. What do we have? So batteries, equipment breakers, we've got machine hall lighting. Let's get that on. I mean, it's bright, but it's not the brightest for you guys. I don't know how you guys will see that. Uh, let's go inside here. So a little rest area. Looks like we've got some crew beds. We've got some more lighting inside here. Uh, we've got some heaters or stoves, kitchens, and a few other cool things inside here. All right. Uh, cool. Let's go up. Next level. And what do we have here? So I'm guessing this would be some type of sifting system. Um yeah possibly i could be wrong what else do we have okay so we've got a conveyor belt system that goes out and then i'm guessing maybe through to the back yeah and then it probably goes along there i could be wrong with that but i guess that was what that would be useful oh there's a little ramp there we could have gone up let's try to go up here so you can see the conveyor belt which is actually just tracks uh goes all the way here and then comes out here okay so this is where you would drop all your excess okay pretty cool i mean let's carry on back down and go to where we were which was up here uh, so we've got the sifter, that brings us out, I think this also brings us out to the deck. And we've got our lifeboats, alright. And that's pretty much about it. We have got uh, some power here, ooh. So this, what I'm guessing, this would be to put some more coal in our... Yeah, so this will allow us to actually go and put some more coal into our ship. So you would go and slide that out if I'm correct. So let's see, so raise, and then deploy David. And then you could drop that down, pick up coal from correct, and then undeploy it. And then you could, for example, it goes directly over there. You could, I guess, push it a little bit further and then just take the coal out of it. Interesting method. I'll let you have doing that. That's pretty cool. Right, let's go back inside. Let's go and see how this thing works. So, I mean, if we jump over that and come on this side, we've got empty equipment and then a command hut. We've got exterior running lights. Old heading, throttle, bucket scoop, lower buckets, normal, raise buckets, and gravel connector. Okay, interesting. Interesting little design the crazy has got here. So apparently in order for us to actually go and simulate the whole process of picking up gold, we need to be between 0 and 30 meters. Uh, and then all we need to do is turn on the bucket scoop, turn on the trommel, and the conveyor belt system. And now we should be collecting some gold. So you can see what's actually happening. Let's go over here. 
So you can see that that whole system there is picking up. It's picking up the dirt or whatever else it needs to pick up. It's going up to the top. Uh, it's then coming into this, which is a trommel, or what I would think would be a sifter of some sort. Uh, it's getting sifted out. The excess dirt is coming along the conveyor belt and coming out. And then the real stuff is, or at least the smaller dirt, is coming through here and then getting stuck as it goes through these different pieces. And you can see here's the gold, actually. All the stuff that's eliminated, here's all the gold. So if we want to collect that, apparently there's a little chest here that you can press to collect gold. So currently it's on zero. And then you press E and you collect. So we collected 13 gold and there goes all of the gold pieces. And now we just need to wait a little bit longer. And we should get some more. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I think that's a really cool idea. I wish, I mean, I wish we could just get like something simulating some rocks or something going along here. That would be really cool. I mean, we're starting to get a little bit more gold now, and we can press it again, and we've got 19 gold. What if I just kept on pressing it? Does anything happen? No, it doesn't. Okay, so it actually does wait a few minutes for it to collect it. That's really cool. Now, let's see how well this thing actually drives. So, we're going to try and jump over this. <laughs> I shouldn't be going this way. Uh, let's see how well this thing drives. So, we can come here. Throw up. Maybe a little more throw. Now, we are moving. And we do have bow thrusters if I want to also, which is left and right. Yep, there we go. And you can see I'm now pushing away from the dock, which is exactly what I wanted to do using a bow thruster. Uh, we can do more throttle. And there we go. Full throttle arts. Is that full throttle? It is indeed. 0 0.5, yes. I mean, we shouldn't probably be going at this speed when we're picking up stuff. I'm going to turn all this off. Um, but I mean, that's really cool. Raise buckets. And you can see the bucket I'm raising currently at the moment here in the front. So if we were obviously set sailing, we would try and raise it up before we moved. That's really cool. I like the concept. I mean, I don't think I've seen anything else like this really on the workshop, uh, which is a really cool little concept. I mean, I'd love to see some, some type of add-on for this. I mean, can you imagine having a, a whole game mode where you had to go and do mining here and you build your creations just for mining? I mean, that would be pretty cool. That's really cool. Lovely creation. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Star Wars LAAT gunship. This is apparently a remastered creation of one of the creator's original creations that they built. Uh, obviously, with now with weapons DLC, apparently a much better design and uh, superior aesthetic. So we'll have to go and see how this all works. I um, mean, it looks really cool from the workshop. Um, apparently, has some weapons on there. It has a uh, one pilot, one co-pilot. It's got gunners, passengers, missiles. I mean, all kinds of cool things on here. So let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the next creation, man, the amount of weapons I can straight away see on this is incredible. Um, let's start at the top. Like, <laughs> that's two large cannons there, artillery cannons, and it's surrounded by missiles. Wow, I'm a little bit worried about the missiles actually hitting the cannon itself. But wow, okay. Uh, going onto the wing, we've got looks like two um air to air or air to ground missiles we've got some type of like little tracking what i'm guessing would be a little tracking um turret here or someone sitting with a little spotlight in we've also got what else uh some more turrets over here so these are little light auto cannon ones and then we've got some more heavy auto cannon turrets here at the front well i mean there's just so much here i mean we've got a little cockpit here too that you can go and get up and get inside i'm guessing uh, is that the driving compartment or is that the firing compartment? I mean, we'll have to find out in a few minutes, won't we? Not too sure. I mean, can I jump up there? I mean, actually, we should be able to. There's a handle there. So there we go. And then, yep. Okay, yes, that's the pilot. And then what's up here? So that must be another. Oh, this is really cool. Okay. I mean, we'll come back to that in a few minutes. Let's just see what else we have. Uh, and I think we have the same on the other side. I see anything at the rear. Okay, it's got a little hatch there. We've got a big hatch here. Wow. And towards the rear, another auto cannon. And we've also got a little like cargo door here at the back. Wow. Okay, rear hold. Nice. It lifts the creation up also. Interesting. Let's go and get inside. Let's close this off. Uh, we've got refueling pumps. So refueling here if you want to. We're in the cargo area here. And it looks like we've got a bunch of handles and equipment and things for all the people inside here. Equipment for days inside here too. 
nicely designed there also we've got main power iron drives and then laser armaments emergency mode and equipment charge so if you want to charge any of your equipments here or just i'm guessing just charge that all right what do we have here blast all blast all dude i can hear something but i didn't see anything oh wow okay interesting interesting design there must be a ton of pivots on this thing okay cool uh, what else do we have? Let's carry on going through lights. That's probably going to be quite useful. Ammo deeper access, ammo deeper access. Sure. We have these little gun pods. How do these work? So unlock turret one. Oh. Okay. So it's up, down, left, and right. And then I'm guessing just shoot. Yep. Pretty much. This is very sensitive though. Wow. Very sensitive. Okay, I would, re I would reduce the sensitivity down on this quite a bit. I mean, it does work. But okay. Uh, and you got two, which is just a laser. Okay. And it tells you, obviously, the distance there. Fantastic. All right, let's go and lock that turret, and let's jump out of here. And uh, let's go and see what we have up here. So we have the pilot. Now, which one was that? Was that the front one? Oh, it must be. Yeah, so this is... Okay, so you've got one here. So that's the co-pilot gunner. And then you've gone to pilot. So co-pilot gunner has got cockpit lights, flight computers, radar maps. If you want it, iron drives. Okay, thrusters. Okay, air-to-air -air missiles. Okay, air-to-air missiles. So left and right. So you can fire those missiles if you want to. Pretty straightforward. Nice. I mean, those are very good. Cool. What else do we have for this gunner? So it looks like we've got. What do we have? Left mouse button is fire the rockets. So that would be these rockets. Oh no, that's the artillery guns. Uh, left click is fire artillery guns. <laughs> Can you move those? I wonder. No, that's to fly. You can't actually move the guns, I don't think. Uh, you can fire rockets, which is one. Nice. Wow. Okay. Cycle next weapon. Previous weapons are three. Okay, so it just cycles the screen, if I'm correct. Oh no, so this actually f cycles. That's pretty cool. Can this move up and down? No, okay. Zoom in and out, and that's about it. And then you can cycle to the next weapon, which is three. Okay, we've gone through them. This is the front guns. Yep, and then two to go back to the main artillery guns. Wow. Must be, wow, there's a huge, you can see the ammo here. With all the ammo <laughs> yeah you can definitely destroy anything with this thing oh uh, cool got some radar screens and a few other cool things here um well cool so i'm pretty happy with that how do we get out of here though then other seats yes exit gunner and then here we go cool so the crates did think of that smart iron drive systems uh flight computer radar cockpit lights landing camera if we want it okay so this is a camera underneath there Okay, well, we're already flying. Ooh, I need to get my formation nav lights, position lights. I've got my thrusters, canopies. I've got blast doors, canopy again. Okay, and we are already flying, as you can tell. Wow, okay. Um, can I... So, that's pitch. That is up and down. Whoa. They're like a... Four, whoa. Four is... Alt four is roll stabilizer, which we just got on. Uh, very interesting design to the controls. One is accelerate. So that's this movement. Oh, okay, because it's designed to work like that, and then that's much easier to fly now. While in like a VTOL mode, it was very weird for a second, but this is fine. This is perfectly. Oh yeah, that's great. Take the roll stabilizer off. Yeah, that's perfect. I can't fire anything from here. I need my I need my gunners. But yeah, that works perfectly fine actually. And then up and down. The lift. Okay, interesting design. Okay, so if we were to decelerate this. So that brings us one into full vertical mode. But then we need to control it. Yeah, we need to control it a bit. Yeah. It prefers to go forwards. 
definitely does. I mean, I might be doing something wrong with the controls there. Um, but yeah, looks really cool. You can have a lot of fun with this. Especially if you were maybe doing some multiplayer. I don't know how the performance would be though, because there's so many pivots. Um, but I mean, you could do the AI gunner help, and you know, the add-on, and you could maybe put an, an AI gunner in every one of these seats and help get them to help you fire. That'd be pretty cool, because this thing, yeah, you can definitely do, look at this. Some great maneuverability with this thing. And there must be, I mean, there must be some fans or something inside there that's actually moving this thing along. Has to be. But uh, yeah, a right, cool, really cool little creation. I definitely recommend you guys go and check it out. Not really small, um, but yeah, really quite a big creation actually. But really cool. Definitely go and check it out. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Land Crab Gunboat. Uh, yes, you heard that right. This is going to be a gunboat, but at the same time, it works as a crab and go on land. Uh, it's got some legs on apparently. It's also got a bunch of uh, artillery guns or water cannons on it and some machine guns and a few other cool things. So, I mean, let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the gunboat, definitely, yeah, you can see it definitely does look like a boat. Uh, got the hull here. We've got a bridge and I'm guessing some weapons in the front there. A very interesting design to it. It doesn't, yeah. Kind of reminds me of like a landing craft of some sort. All right, I mean, let's go and have a look around. So we've got a little hatch here. Where does this go? That looks like it goes directly inside. Okay, I mean, let's close that and let's go up first. Uh, we got, yeah, a large auto cannon here. Looks like lasers, cameras, radars. Uh, nothing around here except a door to go in. And then up here we have some machine guns, which I'm hoping are, no, they are manually controlled. All right, I guess that's fine. I was hoping for mass aiming. Uh, we got another little ladder here. Nothing. Bridge up here if we want it. So we won't go in there just yet. Let's go down. And we have a door to go in here. So what's in here? So it looks like we've got, uh, what, modular engines. Nice. Nice. The crate is using those. Got some fuel tanks. Uh, and then we go through here. And what's inside here? Let's close this just in case. Yeah, it looks like just a compartment with some beds. More beds. Okay. Uh, up to the bridge, I'm guessing, and then through here, you can see the legs kind of sticking out there. Another compartment, yep, those are the compartments we were talking about earlier. Looks like we got the reloading mechanism down here for our gun, and I'm guessing there's another one at the front. Yes, another one here at the front too. All right, and then some more stuff for the legs. Okay, I mean, let's go and close all this off. Let's go up into the bridge and let's see how this thing actually works. So we're going to test the crab mode, which is the land mode first. Uh, and then we'll see how it works in the water. So I mean, we'll close that. Got the helm here. That's pretty much about it. There's not much else here. Uh, main leg controller. Okay, so we jump in here. We've got, well, we've got a whole bunch of things here. So we've got laser, mid gun on, laser emit, four gun on, auto aim, burst fire, auto aim, burst fire. So different guns. Uh, so I'll up, down. Okay, so I'll up, down. All right, so engine start, which is one. And then three for the legs. For that. Ooh, okay. And then, oh, wow, look at that. So I'm turning left. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to get down to the dock. That is cool. The little friction pads are really cool. Because that really does help it stick to the ground. This is... And then one is to fire, so we can actually fire this thing. But we need to... I think we need to... Um, we need to turn the gun on, don't we? Yeah. Yep, yeah, and we can fire this thing. <laughs> and then you can actually aim the gun. Oh, I'm getting a little close to that pillar. Okay, I've gotten a little bit close to that pillar. I'm just going to go backwards. Um, and you can actually aim that gun while you're... while you're um, walking or driving the boat. So you can see I can move it left and right there. We can also radar aim as if we wanted to. There's nothing around here for us to aim at. But I want to try and go down to the water and then I want to see, I mean, I'm hoping that we can get this thing into the water relatively easily. Straight from the dock. This is very cool. 
Can I not go off here? <laughs> oh man. And then can we just like go straight over? I wonder. I don't want to hit anything and get stuck on anything. And we should in theory just be able to left a little bit. Be able to just glide and then we should slide the rest of the way. <laughs> Okay, and then three is to underblow the legs. There it goes, okay. And then we're about. <laughs> Very cool. I think it's draining, I think it's currently draining water out the front or out the leg areas. And that's why, yeah, you can see those little lights there. I think that means draining water currently, if I'm correct. Uh, but there we were about. <laughs> Override WNS, and now we can do We'll steady on and then we can literally go and start aiming our our guns can i enable both the guns at the same time okay yes so both the guns are done uh, we can also do laser emits if we want laser emit radar emit uh, and then slava up down left right and now we should be able to control both the guns yes we can look at that and then fire over there there's well, why are they resetting themselves but wow, that's enough power, firepower. Whoa, that it really is a lot of firepower. Four auto cannons. Wow, that's a really cool creation. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting, uh, expecting this. This is very interesting. So a, a cool one. I definitely recommend go check it out, guys, uh, and have some fun with this thing. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the LH65M Hydrogram. Now, this is meant to be a transport VTOL. Now, apparently, it's been upgraded with uh, obviously the new weapons DLC in mind, which means it's got a whole bunch of weapons, including missiles, turrets, and all the cool things along with that. So, I mean, let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, you can see we've got the transport vehicle just here in the front, but it's actually also got a whole bunch of attachments that you can add on or remove or replace as you want to. So, I mean, let's go over it now. The creator has decided to add this all as one creation. So what you have to do is before you can use this, you actually have to bring it into the workshop and physically delete all these extra blocks if you don't want them on, or at least make them separate bodies. Because uh, at the moment it is all one large body. So you need to physically go and delete these off. Just an FYI. Uh, personally, I, I wouldn't do it that way. I would have one creation, which is the main vehicle. Uh, and then I would have made separate a separate creation or several separate creations for the attachments that's just my preference because it means that i now have to go into this workshop uh, and delete those things off obviously i don't mind but i'm just saying for convenience for other players um so let's go and have a look at these so it looks like we've got some of the what i'm guessing would be radio guided missiles here at the front uh two of those or torpedoes uh which one is it no these are torpedoes okay so those are torpedoes these are the radio guided missiles over here We've also got what I'm guessing would be a drop tank or for fuel. Or is there bombs inside there? Hold on. Are these bombs? I think those could possibly either be bombs or they could be drop tanks. Uh, we've got missiles here. Oh, this is a drop tank here. So that must be bombs then of some sort inside there. You can see something underneath. Uh, this is your drop tank just over there. Yeah, refuel pump missiles. Uh, and then we've got some rotary order cannons. So these are all things that you can add on as attachments. It looks like underneath here. So you can see at the moment the creator's got some, which I'm guessing is some missiles. And then they've also got here, which is an order cannon turret at the moment. Okay, so interesting uh, design. Obviously, I think this is probably the best solution for the moment. And then you can equip it with whatever else you need for depending on what missions you're doing. Here in game so i'm just going to bring us into the workbench uh delete all these things and then we'll respawn this in and then test out the aircraft all right so we've removed all of the extra attachments here at the back and now we just have the vtol performance feeling much better straight away um cool so we still got the sign which we don't we can just ignore it for now let's actually have a little look around let's see what's going on with this vtol um so it looks like we've got some kind of radar camera laser system here at the front uh we've got the main control room what else do we have? We have the missiles, which we spoke about already. We've got the big jet engines that go and fold. Uh, along with that, it looks like we've got refueling here. New connector and old connector, just in case. Uh, otherwise, from that, that's pretty much about it, I think. We've got a little ladder here that goes on top. Uh, we've got a 
emergency battery we've got a little hatch here at the back which i'm guessing opens up later on once we're inside a whole bunch of flares and things and that's pretty much about it Ooh, okay there's a little hood here for the engines okay and you can see all of this cool that's it off and i mean let's go and get inside it now question how do we get inside uh we can go underneath here what's well, not really much going on underneath it's a camera and stuff uh how do we get inside it is a very good question maybe we need to go up top that's why the ladder is there oh uh, we can try that so up on the ladder and yep there's a hatch right there all right wow there's a lot of flares on this thing uh, let's open this push button and we jump inside okay and is that closing or do i need to close it manually i mean dock magnets we don't need dock hatch no okay yep, that closed okay we got a whole bunch of seats in here. We looks like we've got a door that goes into the ramp area here. A medical bay. Oh, this little medical. Oh, that's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting to see that in there. That's quite nice. I mean, it's always nice to have a little medical room. Uh, cool. Let's go and close that off. That's a little ramp in there. You can probably drive something up here if you have a very small vehicle. Uh, equipment. Okay, lots of equipment that's hidden there. That's cool. A bed. Nice, that's hidden in here too. Great. Uh, docking hatch, we spoke about that already. We've got push button, force open. Uh, we've got force door, force door, open. So that opens this area now. Okay, so just different hatches. Interesting. You get water, you can also get water in here. I want to think maybe we can go in the water. Another seat here, another seat here. Uh, pilot seat. Okay, so now we get access to all of our stuff. Emergency battery. Uh, we got course guns, stop engines, water, surface. Okay. We got path cluster, jaw PS, uh, GPS, main power. Get main power on. We got brake, starter motor, water cannon. Okay, so starter, water cannon, drain tank. Okay, so you can I'm guessing go in the water to maybe refuel this thing. Your engines are up and running. Fantastic. In a plane or VTOL mode. Oh, okay. As you guys can see there. Uh, we're now back in VTOL mode. Okay. That's very stable. Wow. Okay. Uh, how do the weapons and things work? So we've got mass control. So for plane mode only, apparently. Uh, the craze is recommending here. To fire things off, you got... Water surface locates. Where's the weapon stuff? Also, I'm expecting to see HUD here. Oh, hello. There we go. Uh, artificial horizon is currently on at the moment. We've got our HUD. We can turn on two. Wow. Okay, cool. Uh, target lock, radar. Okay. Auto cannon attachments. Uh, cool. We've got nav lights. Indicates on lights, identification markers. Old hold. We want it. We've got distance hold. We've got all kinds of cool things here. We've got a hatch there. I wasn't expecting all of that. Wow. Okay. So then how would you fire release attachment just a five? So that just released the entire block of weapons. Alright. What kind of attachments? Attachments, there we go. So I've got attachments selected now. Left click. Yep, left click worked. There we go. So there goes one missile. And then you can obviously left click again, another one, left click again, another one. Okay, cool. So there we go. So there goes the... <laughs> all of those. Alright. So now I can turn that off and get auto cannon. Those are the auto cannons. Yep, those are the auto cannons underneath. And they look like they're all currently tracking the center point. So wherever I aim my screen, those other auto cannons are actually tracking to that point. That's quite nice. I mean, it's a nice little add-on the crates has got there. And then left click to fire them. Yes. Cool. <laughs> that does look nice, doesn't it? Oof, those are water cannons. So nice. Okay, let's go up. Let's go into VTOL mode, which is going to be your plane mode, sorry, which is three. All right. I mean, let's get our weapons off. We should be flying now. And our mouse aiming, which is one. Nice. And then you can fly it with your mouse. It's quite sensitive. I mean, it's fine. 
Is there an option in mouse control? So you just press one and that deactivates it and then you can look around and do other things. A target lock also. And then one again and then you back on. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Artificial horizon here, you can see our alt, our speed. Looks like our drop. Yeah, you can see how quickly we're ascending or descending. Okay. GG. That's probably because I spawned it in, maybe. As a different body. That's another reason why I don't recommend letting users delete stuff off your creations. Rather have everything built ready. I mean, that's just from my experience. I mean, let's go and spawn it again. And I mean, it's probably because we got too far away from where we originally spawned it. And I think it's considering this to be the main body more than likely this is probably the main body here this PR part all right i think we actually looked at most of the features didn't we uh so guys yeah definitely go recommend just be careful when you are deleting the things uh make sure this is the main body delete any of those extra things uh because i forgot obviously to delete that so i thought it wasn't going to be important because i thought this was going to be the main body but it wasn't and it got too far away and it despawned itself um so just be wary of that when you are doing this i said easy fix would just be to remove those things by default or uh, we'll have a separate creation that doesn't have them attached on uh cool let's go ahead let's go on to the next one for the episode and moving on to the last creation of the episode we have the submarine aircraft carrier mark 5. now this apparently can hold quite a few uh, different jets inside it uh you can go in storing two fighters otherwise you can also do two medium lift helicopters inside the actual hangar itself it's got weapons on it. I mean, just overall it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, let's go and spawn in and see how it works. All right, and spawning in the next creation. Uh, so you can see definitely a large submarine, uh, really big. I've actually gone and spawned a jet on it just to imitate uh, the whole landing stuff uh, with this jet. So, I mean, the first thing first is we have to get uh, this thing to stop moving because it is sliding all around the deck. And we should be able to then drag that to underneath this jet. Now, we've had a look at this jet before, if I'm correct. They got me yeah, they got the missiles underneath it. Uh, so I'm not going to pay too much attention to this jet. But I do want to see this whole process in how this all works. So get that connected now. And we go here and then wheel it in. And then that should, in theory, just go and line it all up perfectly for us. So we don't have to really do anything. Give it a few seconds. As you can see, it's already starting to go in. I'm probably going to disconnect this cable. And store it you can see that side is going into place and then that side should be going in place any second the wheel brakes are on so it shouldn't be sliding too much and there you go I mean it's almost perfectly in line I would maybe like to see one more part part of the front here just to line it up I mean that's all right I uh, let's do canopy closed wing fold and there's a service light if we want it cool and there we go now we could probably use the elevator which is that button so we let on and there we go okay so nice big open area looks like we've got some spare ammo in here we've got some more electrical cables for us to go and wheel it down over in here i've got another rope anchor there all right so pretty straightforward to go and do all this okay i mean let's go and probably leave it on the deck for now Looks like we got refueling and refueling. So if we do want to refuel the jet while we're down here, we can do that. Uh, we go to the back here, reactor room. So this is, ooh, okay. So this is our nuclear reactor system. Unlock controls. Activate left pumps, right pumps, insert, insert. And there we go. So I'm guessing we can leave this and this will sort itself out. All right, let's carry on going through. And see what else we have in this creation so we're going to close this door just in case we have another one to go up to our main deck i'm going to bring this onto the main deck now what's underneath here nothing just bare okay cool let's carry on through so we go up nothing through here we got a ladder that goes up somewhere let's see what's in here in the armory <laughs> some weapons okay so just some weapons and things i mean let's go up then uh that brings us into hangar access Okay, medical bed, equipment room, nice equipment, I like that. I feel like I've looked at this, looked at something very similar to that before. Uh, cool. 
storage tanks, airlocks. Okay, so that's because when you go to dive down, of course, you want to lock everything else. Uh, and then ladder that goes up into our bridge, possibly. Yep, close that off. Get all that sealed off. Washroom. I feel like I might have actually have looked at this before. Okay, what did we have inside here? Okay, I'm guessing this is the weapons system. Possibly it's ever, all the systems inside here. What's this? Engineer, turret operator, and then captain. Yeah, so this is all the systems inside here. So, I mean, let's go and see if we can get this all working. So, turret operator. So, that is your cannon at the top there. Nice. So, yeah, definitely defend yourself if need be. Infrared. Slow left, right. Okay, cool. Uh, we've got the engineer, which has just got access to our pump room down there, which is all good. Uh, we've got main battery, we've got captain seat, instrument lights, deck lights, spotlights, monitors, ballast tanks, okay, depth hold system, clutches, sonar, video receiver if you want it. Nice uh, storage ballasts, ballasts. Navigation waypoint system. What's this monitor? Radar. Okay. Um, radar detected, apparently. Something's pinging us. Uh, launch tor torpedoes. Do we have torpedoes on this thing? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we've got torpedoes in the front there. Okay, cool. So you can defend yourself. Uh, electricity generating. Okay, so this is the uh, nuclear power system that's generating electricity for us. And well, torpedoes, ballast tanks, spotlights. Let's get all the lights on. Performance looks okay. Uh, I mean, we could probably just go, can't we? So, W. Are we moving? I can see a bunch of water jets and things in the back there. I don't see us actually moving. Do I need to uh, clutch, maybe? Yep, and that's the clutch, and that's moving us. Yeah, I need to actually turn us. Otherwise, we're going to hit the... Hit that. No, I don't also don't want to hit the dock there. So let's angle ourselves out slowly. I mean, we should probably put this inside, shouldn't we? If we're going to dive, <laughs> we should probably put the jet inside. So while we're moving out of this area, I'm actually just going to go and put that jet downstairs. Open that up and then in here. There we go. Cool. So we're in now. with our clutch. Let's get clutch on and fill. Let's start uh, filling the ballast tanks. Let's do... We actually don't need any of this, do we? We can pretty much just wait for that and we're going to start diving. Very simple, very easy. And you could obviously have several of those jets. So two underneath, you could possibly even have another two up on deck. I don't see why not. I don't see why they can't go underwater. Um, but yeah, I guess you could in theory. And that is 100% dry inside, as you can see. I mean, it is a little funky inside there, but it's all right. Everything else is great. We are diving quite a bit. We can use our WNS to, yeah, level ourselves out or even actually just hold at a certain depth. We can enter a depth in if we want to. Our current depth is, current depth is, there we go, minus 1.6. So we do like minus two. Let's see, minus two. And then naval depth hold. Gonna take us there. Looks like it is because you can see it's going lower and lower and lower. 1.74. Looks like it's going down. So, I mean, it's probably going to take a while because we are still putting a little water in. That should go down to about two in a few seconds. Uh, I mean, this is really cool and it's really easy to use. I mean, I was expecting maybe it's a little bit harder. But it was literally put the engines on, come here, enter a few things, and you're good to go. Weapons are really simple also. Just point, aim. I mean, camera up and down. Can't get much easier than that, can you? Go and shoot. Uh, it doesn't have an option to slew it for up and down. We might want to just move this before we crash this. Where's this gimbal camera, by the way? Uh, how do you move this gimbal camera? Do you touch the screen? Aha, there we go. So you can actually, there we go. This is what I was looking for. Now we can actually see. That's better. And it's got night vision controls and a few other things. Cool. I mean, we're at negative two, aren't we? What if we were to set it a little bit lower? So let's do maybe negative 12. There we go. And then we're going down. <laughs> nice. 
Oh, very cool. This is working very easily, isn't it? And you can... Oh, look, the gimbal camera is just out of the water. <laughs> so that's the only thing that's now above the water. That's cool. So you can shoot... Well, obviously turn my lights off. Uh, spotlight, deck lights... Yeah. Now, in theory, you wouldn't see us if you're only looking for... There's a little gimbal camera coming out of the water. That's cool. And obviously we got the torpedoes too. That we could go and shoot. So just arm them and fire them off. And there it goes. Bye bye. Very cool. Lovely creation. Definitely go recommend you guys go and check it out. Um, and a great one to end the episode off with. As always, if you want to check out any of the creations that we had to have a look at in this episode, I will leave them linked in the video description. Go give some love to the creators. Obviously, it does take a lot of time to make these creations. And it's a good achievement to make it into the top five every week. So that's it. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And until next week, we will see you then.